Good evening, everybody. I hope everybody had a wonderful day today. I hope you have a wonderful evening and a very restful night. I've been wanting to, uh, to do this video for a while, but I kept letting other people um, or other things in life kind of distract me and, you know, I kept forgetting. But it was about, actually, I did two videos. I'll discuss that. I had to, to erase them. But um, it was about the uh, Johannes Kadang, the 22-year-old young man who, uh, I think he left New York for San Jose or San Francisco, California to work um, for Netflix as an engineer. And all of a sudden, he, he ended up missing. I think he had already gotten hired. I think, yeah, he had already gotten hired. He had been there for a few weeks or so. And then he just came up missing. So people were talking about, you know, either it was, either it was he committed suicide or he was murdered. It was foul play. So my thing was, why would he kill himself? when he had so much going for him he had just finished college and right after uh college he was offered a career as an engineer at at a uh a top one of the top fortune 500 companies um he had every he had it going on he had a great life ahead of him so it, it, you know why would he kill himself why would he take his own life so um they found his body, I think, two days ago in the San Francisco, San Francisco Bay, which is not that far from the Golden Gate Bridge, the San Francisco uh, Golden Gate Bridge. And supposedly his belongings, his wallet and phone and everything were left on the side. So that there could uh, seem like somebody had set it up to look like a suicide but supposedly they have videos um near the bridge and they supposedly watched the video and they said yeah it was suicide so it's been called a suicide and um his body had been in in that water for weeks so of course it was badly decomposed unrecognizable I'm pretty sure they had to use DNA to identify him. And they said he um, sustained injuries that were uh, conducive or, you know, to jumping off a bridge of that height. And, you know, and because it was so high, uh, the, pack, the impact from hitting the water uh, could, you know, a person hitting the water can cause some major damage damage and it would probably almost like they were beat to death or something like that but it wasn't it was the impact from such a high distance from the bridge to the water that could that can cause a lot of um, bodily damage so I did a, a video and I pulled the cards out and I, I was reading the cards and they I saw a I saw the situation where you know he he was leaving home and family and familiar environment to go to the whole opposite coast to live and work and, you know, to, um, to, to be in the field that he went to school for, you know, to develop his career. And it was difficult. And I saw the job offer and things like that. But what threw me off was... Um, it, it was weird. It seemed like it could have been foul play or suicide. And that was what the, the video was about. Was it foul play or suicide? So the devil came up in the tower. So um, the tower can um, talk about something happened suddenly and unexpected. And the devil can talk about foul play. But at the same time, I'm wondering, you know... Um, Usually when suicide is is uh, in question and it was actually a suicide, the uh, the hangman, which is Neptune, comes up. Because that talks about giving up 
suicide and stuff like that. So it didn't come up. But I was um I was looking at the situation surrounding the energy and it was it was weird. It it looked like it could have been murder or maybe but more so to me it was leaning towards murder. Um but I saw um interactions between him and um, other people, some very powerful people. Something was going on. And I saw particularly three people that he was dealing with at the time that he was um, having having issues with. So um, it was definitely two males and maybe one female. So I said, let me, you know, the energy is kind of funny, not totally clear. So I, I dealt out another deck of, uh, a, another layout of cards and things became, I think I did it three times and I kept seeing the scenario surrounding three people. Let me tell you what I kind of picked up. No, I picked up from the energy that I saw in these readings. It's weird because, all right, I, I'm going to say it was suicide. Because they said they watched the footage from him, you know. So, it, you know, the authorities, they didn't show it on TV, but they, you know. But at the same time, it seemed like somebody's actions caused him to do it. He didn't necessarily go there with the intent to kill himself or, or, or you know, feeling that so down and out that he eventually decided to do so that's not what i'm getting i'm getting something happen at work something happened at work and what i got from the cars was that he had gotten this job offer and the money you know it was good news and everything and then here comes the um what was it was it the um Oh my goodness. What what whatever. Very powerful figure card. It was the emperor. And the emperor was sitting next to the moon card. Now when the moon card comes up, a lot of times that can be a woman, a person, but also it talks about lies and deception. Lies. And then I saw the the king of sword comes up, come up right next to Neptune. Lies lies you know what I think um, happened to him upper management uh, because I saw the ten of swords stabbed in the back and the seven of swords betrayal I kind of feel that he had gotten a job but certain ones there didn't really want him to have it they didn't want him to have it, so they conspired against him to lie on him and eventually get him fired. And I don't know if he got fired or he knew he was on his way to getting fired or being let go. And that kind of like just totally turned his whole, you know, his whole attitude, his whole his whole world around. And he couldn't, you know, he, he couldn't face that. Um, I was looking at the card and it said something about, it was saying something about my mom worked so hard and she spent so much money for me to get to where I am now. That's what I felt like something about his mom working so hard to get up the money to help him get to where he was. And now he's at a crossroads. I saw the two of wands. I saw the three of wands and then I saw the five of cups and each of those cards you see someone with their back turned and um as a matter of fact i saw the six of swords again back turned and then you're looking at water they're looking over water um the two of wands he's on land and he's got these wands these choices or whatever these crossroads, these paths that he can take, and he's looking towards the water. The three of wands is on, on land, he's looking towards water. The um, five of cups on land, looking towards water with his head down. And um, the six of wands, I mean, excuse me, six of swords looking for it. 
uh, moving uh, away in water, moving forward. All four of those cars had their backs turned. So I am of the belief of even though the authorities can lie about the footage because they never showed it, that to my knowledge, um, they never showed the foot. I mean, they would they didn't have to show him jumping, but they could at least I would have thought shown him at the bridge, but they didn't do that. But with those cards coming at, up like that, I am on the side of suicide because then um, that's when the um, the uh, the Neptune car, the hangman comes up and that usually talks about suicide. So it was a suicide. He turned his back on his life. He was disappointed because what had happened to him at work, he had gotten this great job. He went to school for and graduated, became an engineer, was in a position to make good money and to, to possibly elevate himself. And he was sad. his career was sabotaged by these people that did not want to see that type of future for him. Maybe he was just too embarrassed to go back back home and, and look like, in his mind, in his mind, look like a failure. But he was sabotaged. He was betrayed. He was lied on. And um, I'm hoping that this truth comes out, even though they can't be arrested for his suicide. I think the only way that you could be arrested for somebody's suicide contributing to their death is if you encourage them or tell them to do so. And they do it. Then you can be prosecuted. But just because somebody lied on you and made you lose your job or your, your credibility or respect doesn't, you know, you can't prosecute as far as I know they can't be prosecuted for you deciding to end your life but he didn't want to seem like a failure and he's an immigrant he comes from a family that um a people that I know when they come here they push their kids to succeed and they demand it and they expect you to succeed and be the best okay and he he did what everything that he's supposed to do he followed the rules but he um he ran into uh, some um, unfortunate events caused by some very cruel people who were in, in a position to hurt him and to hurt his reputation. And um, I believe either he had lost his job or he was going to lose it. But that's what I get from the cards. It definitely had everything to do with his career. His career and things not uh, happening the way that um, they were intended to happen. Let me say that. Um, definitely intended to happen because he was lied on. They he was stabbed in the back, betrayed. Um, it's very sad. Um, I kept, kept getting threes. It was definitely three people, uh, mainly two males, maybe one, one female, who sabotaged his career. And as a result... Um, put him in the position where he didn't want to to live anymore to just end it all even though that was his choice he didn't have to make that choice his life was not over um things like this happen to people all the time they think they're they've arrived and they've worked hard they've earned it and then all of a sudden some very something very unfair happens to them and then they have to start all over again but that's what you do you 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 get up and you you dust yourself off and you start all over again. You don't you don't take your life. That job is not the only job. You you know you go back and you tell mom and dad and family, look, this is what happened. I'm I'm sorry, but I'm gonna continue to do better. I'm not gonna let this keep me down. So I'm um of the mindset that yes, he did commit suicide and it definitely had to do with betrayal and backstabbing by superiors and um um supervisors at work all right thank you all for listening to this video please like and share i'll be coming back to you with more content just be patient with, with me i love you peace peace peace